Ta-da-na, ta-da-na, ta-da-na. Hey everybody, this is Infinite Trials here saying welcome back to Let's Play Castlevania Portrait of the Ruin. In the last episode, I finished up all there really was to explore within the Forgotten City, and then took on some quests for wins here, and then had to kind of cut off the episode a little short because I didn't have enough intellect to really complete the last quest I tried to do. But, in between this episode and the last, I was able to both A, master, um, sorry about that, I was able to both master Javelin for, uh, win one of the, the Spear of Legend quest, and was able to level up, I was able to gain enough levels just by fighting that, all those lesser demons in that one room in, um, in the Forgotten City, the one I t was telling you about probably about two episodes ago. I just got myself up to a high enough area where I was actually able to increase my intellect, or I have enough to get my intellect going past 100, I guess is what I'm trying to say here. Anyways, this is the uh, setup I have to get Charlotte's MP, I mean, intellect past it. Um, I'm level 38, so, yeah, now what I recommend you do is you have the cocktail dress, which is a semi-rare drop from uh, Lara's, which are those cat women ladies you find when you first get in through the, uh, the warm stomach, um, the holy veil, which I've had on for god knows how long. The Silent Sandals, which you can purchase straight from Vincent. And this is actually a new piece of equipment I also picked up, the Skull Ring. Now, pretty much the Skull Ring is a rare drop you can get from uh, Lesser Demons, and it boosts all your stats by a lot. However, it permanently afflicts you with a curse, so... While it may seem good on the outside, the effects of having a curse forever kind of blow, so you really don't want to have it on you. You just really want to have it on you for a quest where you know you're going to have to boost your stats by a lot. And then also we have the Venus brooch, which I picked up also back in the Forgotten City, so just as long as you have that, as well as Intellect Boost, you should be able to be at a high enough range where Charlotte will get past with that uh, 100 Intellect, I believe. Yeah, because it'll be at 73, and by the time Intellect Boost gets me up, it, uh, it boosts your Intellect by 30 in the middle of the game. So I'm pretty sure that'll help you out in the long run. Anyways, there you go. Anyway, let's see here. First, I gotta get my Intellect going right there. And there, okay, so, now in Spear of Legend, boom, boom, I, again, as I said, I already mastered Javelin off screen, so I'm happy about that, and, uh, I got Alucard's Spear, perhaps one of the best weapons in the entire game, I will probably have that equipped for the majority, if not the remainder of the LP, and then with Mental Training, um, Mental Training 3, I just did that one, as you just saw, so, essentially increases our maximum MP, which is pretty cool. And now we got more quests here, uh, Abandoned Greed, all I gotta do is just lose all my money. And then Mental Training 4, which is just boost your mind, which is pretty much just literally the exact same thing you have to do with uh, Mental Training 3. The only difference is you have to boost mind, which is actually probably about a thousand times easier, because literally all you have to do is just equip all of the uh, nun's materials on Charlotte. Actually, oh wow, I already have enough even just to get past that, so that's pretty good. Um, so that's good, okay. And then Mental Training 4, and then we're all set with Mental Training for all the Mental Training quests, and that just boosts your maximum MP again, so that's pretty good. Build Your Strength 2, I'll get into more details about that uh, as soon as I get to that road, as soon as I finish the Abandoned Greed quest, and then I will just move along from there. So, first of all, okay, first of all, I want to unequip uh, the Skull Run because I don't really need it now at this point, so uh, I think I had, what did I have, Moonbrooch, or... Oh, shoot, this is what, I think, I, know, I had Diamond Brooch, and then I had, uh, I don't know, should I stick with the plat? I'm gonna stick with the, uh, yeah, I'll stick with the cocktail dress, and then I wanna have the Holy Veil, and I also wanna have, um, I'll throw on Thunderbolt, because it's just a really good attack, and there we go, okay, unfortunately, though, we're not fully cured off, which I'll just do by simply healing, and then saving, because why the hell not, and now I'm just gonna sell some stuff off screen, and then buy some stuff, and then, Try and get my money all the way down to zero, and then I'll just meet you back over by win, and then I'll turn in and show the, the benefits of completing this quest, okay? So, give me a second, because this might take, like, five to ten minutes. You're back. Alright, so, that actually took me a lot less time than I had to. Um, I was at 2,098 uh, money, or gold, whatever the currency is in this game, and all I did was just sell, like, a spoiled milk and that amnita that took me so long to get, which brought me up to 2,100, so pretty much what I did, I just off-screen, I purchased, um, Dark Rift, that ability for Charlotte, and then I just purchased, just like, a random, uh, uncursed potion, just to get me all the way down to zero gold, and then we can complete this quest, which will pretty much give us the Miser Ring, which I can't remember exactly what that does. Anyway, this last one right here is the Lonely Stage, so I'll just 
participate in that one right there in the underworld. That one's pretty quickly. Yeah, I think that one's actually really easy to get, so that shouldn't be that bad. So what I will do off screen now, or I'll just meet you guys at the next area will I where I will essentially just do these two quests right here, because I can literally just do them in conjunction with each other. That won't be that hard. So I'll just meet you guys back at the uh, locations of where these quests are, and then we will move along from there. So adios, muchachos. Alright, so I'm back here in the room right before you fought Frankenstein, and for those of you unfamiliar, it is this room right here. Now, in order to do the first quest, which is Build Your Strength 2, there is a certain item hidden in one of these platforms around here, and the moment I can find it will be most glorious. It's right here, and if you just, just look at the massive size of this spear, by the way, it's, it's godlike. But here we got New York Steak, which... I'm just gonna say this right now, is a phenomenal piece of healing, and I highly recommend saving it for endgame content, because, trust me, you're, you're gonna wanna have it. But, in any case, that's pretty much where you have to fulfill that quest right there, so now I'll just meet you back over where you have to fulfill for the other quest, so just give me a quick moment, please. Alright, so I'm back here in this room here in the Dark Academy, yeah, that's pretty much why I did both these quests in conjunction with one another, because they're both right here in the Dark Academy. Anyway, though. That room right there, it's right to the exact right of the second warp point. All you gotta do is just stand here for a few seconds and wait. So, yeah. Um, there we go. Just gotta wait there for a moment, and then the ghost will appear right there, he'll play some piano tunes, and then you'll know that you've completed the quest once that is done. Now then, I will meet you guys back over at Wind's place, submit these quests for uh, succession, and then I will move along and do... Probably some more quests, so yeah. Yeah, I know, that is a quest-heavy episode, so me. Alright, so I'm back here at uh, Wind's Place, so let's submit and get our results. So, for Build Our Strike 2, we will get our maximum HP increase, and for the Lonely Stage, we will get a record player, which... I'll get into more detail about that. Anyway, Build Your Strength 3, we gotta find five different cakes, um... I will look for those off screen and then show you where I'll do those later because I really don't feel like participating in this quest just now. But pretty much as you just saw by doing that one quest for Wind, we got an item known as the Record Player. Now unfortunately we cannot use this ability just yet, or item just yet, because oh, we need to find records. These records, I have no idea where they find them. Um, I will try my best to try and track them down as best as possible, I'll, chances are I'll probably just link uh, down in the description. Where you can get them, pretty much what the record player will allow you to do though, is allow you to listen from tunes from past Castlevania games, and then jam out to them as you're going along. But, I think that's enough uh, rambling out of me in the meantime. And, uh, yeah, so I think I've done enough quest bumbling around for uh, today, so let's continue and go into the next area, shall we? So, yeah, I'll just meet you guys back over the studio painting, and then hopefully I'll stop doing these jump cuts for the rest of the episode. Alright, so I'm back here in the main studio area, and, uh, yeah, so as you can tell, there are two more paratroops we have to, uh, clear up right now. And, after doing some long, intense thinking about which one I want to do next, I'm gonna do this one. I'm gonna say this right now, I fucking hate this area. I don't care that I just dropped an F-bomb right here, because we are in what I like to refer to as my least favorite area in the entire game, Burt Paradise. I do not like this game, or area of the game, at all. I like this game, don't get me wrong, I know I tend to whine and complain about it a lot, but I absolutely despise this area with a burning passion. God, are you kidding me? How did I already get... Great, great. See what I mean? Two minutes in and I'm already getting trolled the fuck out of by this place. I hate this area. I do not like it at all. Anyways, yeah, so this is the Burnt Paradise. It's, uh, if you haven't figured it out by this point, each area is pretty much just a palette swap of, um, the older area that we were in, of uh, the previous area we were in. So, say, for example, the Dark Academy is kind of like the palette swap of, uh, the Force of Doom. The Forgotten City is the palette swap of, uh, what's it called? Um, I'm blanking on the name right now. Of, uh, the, 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 and, uh, this area here is the pout swap of the Nation of Fools, and for those of you who remember about how much I absolutely hated this area, I hated the Nation of Fools, I get to deal with this area! I hate this area! So much! The enemies here are a pain in the ass. I, those, there are many frustrating as hell obstacles. The music infuriates me beyond 
Oh my god, I, I just absolutely hate this area. I hate it. I hate it so much. I, I just, I just, I hate it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry if I'm like whining and complaining. I just hate this area. But I figured, you know what? The area after this is my favorite area of the game. So I might as well save that one for last and be happy the remainder of the LP instead of whining and complaining. So, this will hopefully be one of the last times I will whine and complain about this game. I'm hoping, maybe, sorta, kinda. Not well, oh well. God, God. I just, I, the, the amount of pointless obstacles they have there just frustrates me. I don't like it. Oh, God. How did I get past that? I'm, I'm amazed with myself right here. So these enemies here are just, oh, God, stag beetles. I hate them so much. Warp point right there. I forgot to open that up. Um, yeah, it's just, hey, hey. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like it. It's just like, yeah. The music here is just, grrg. Yeah, okay, well, okay, enough, enough whining. Might as well finish it while I have the chance, um. Okay, thankfully, though, the freaking Alucard Spear is godlike, so this will make getting around this area relatively easy, um. Yeah, just, just look at that damage that the Alucard Spear gives off. It is, it is so good. Anyway, I should probably go for these Thunderbolts right here. Yeah, Tan Jellies, again, as I said, if you touch them, you'll get poisoned, so watch out for that. A lot of the enemies in this remainder, in the, like, the la latter half of the game, really like to have poison attributes to them, I I've noticed. Um, you got the Tan Jellies, but... Get it again. Whoops. No. Okay, this should take a good chunk of them. There we go. But yeah, I've not actually, I've noticed, like, a, a decent amount of the enemies in the end game have, like, a lot of poison attributes, which is another reason why I don't like this area. A lot of the enemies here have poison elemental attacks. Can somebody say irony? <laughs> wow, that was... That was... Wow, I could not have timed that any better. Um, okay, I completely forgot there's a pure poison spell in this game. Well, that makes my life easier, I suppose. Wow. Okay. Literally, literally, I, 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 I completely forgot there was a Poison Cure spell in the game. Um, wow. Wow, okay, that was total irony right there. <laughs> uh, sorry, I gotta scratch my eye real quick. Oh. Man, that, that was, that was just by sheer coincidence that I got that out. Anyway, we got the Bakawada. I think that's how you pronounce that at least. Um, is it a useful weapon? Oh yeah, by the way, I got this weapon off screen by killing off a, uh, uh, the Hoji Jumats, uh, the Minotaur, back in the Dark Academy. Um, it's just another axe. It's a cool weapon. Very strong. Um, but however, I'm just gonna stick with the card spear because it's a lot better. Huh. Sorry, I thought I heard something outside. It's a loudness. And where, where is this weapon? Did I, oh, there it is, right there. Yeah. Bad weapon, don't equip it. Um, <laughs> yeah, okay, whatever. Anyways, move along through here. Uh, just bumble, bumbling around, I suppose. Um, I don't, I don't know. I really don't know at this point. <laughs> uh, let's see. Ooh, gold leggings. I'm gonna equip that on Jonathan, he thinks. Um, yeah, how's the attack drop on this? Dropping five, but go up by four. Uh, yeah, no. Never mind. <laughs> gonna stick with the, uh, gonna stick with the good old, um, whatchamacallit boots. The combat boots, because they're about... Oh, God, these things. I'd like to introduce to you to another yet very annoying enemy in the game, Mr. Ripper. I think that's the name. Oh, just just Ripper, sorry. Those things are a pain in the took us, uh, for many reasons, um, because they can deal a lot of damage, and you sure are being a nuisance. Okay, do I have any healing items besides green sea cake? I need that for a quest. Um, use a needle bun. Might as well at least have some form of healing, I guess. Anyways, uh, going around through here, um, yeah. I don't know why I just backtracked like that. That was stupid of me. Uh, why am I why am I prolonging? You saw a whore! Oh my god! Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna end off today's episode here because it is very lit and I need to heal. I am very low on health. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, guys, and you want to see more of my content, you can always rate, comment, subscribe. And yeah, this is essentially Infinite Trials. So you're saying peace out, show, and have a good one.